Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to see at the uh, beginning of the raging battle between the Sheng Dynasty and the Feng Dynasty. It looks like uh, they're going to war for some reason. But let's take a look and see what is the story with this new Quan Sheng. So let's get started. A little while back, Quan Sheng, who's been making radios for a while, came out of the blue and offered us a brand new little handy talkie for ham radio, which covered multiple bands beside ham. So, of course, we get the GMRS, the FRS, the MERS, but it also includes airband. It has a larger screen, so we could see it a little bit better. Uh, it was kind of cutish looking, big knob for volume, orange for some reason, I don't know why, and came out of the blue, offered things like over-the-air cloning, uh, frequency meter, which was very interesting. It had some features the Sheng did not have. I mean, the Feng did not have, sorry. So, it seemed like this was going to be the new radio that everybody wanted to replace the UV-5R from Baofeng. And then, not too long after that, bam, we get UV-5 apostrophe 8, also known as the UV-6. So apparently what they did on this one is they changed the screen color to orange, changed the body styling, at least in front, to be a little bit different. Uh, actually more interesting. I kind of prefer this one to the first one. But we stayed with that. All of a sudden we got a slew of firmware that was available that could override. We got firmware from many different places, uh, different playgrounds that were offering modified firmware for these radios. And they seem to work quite well. In fact, there's one running on this radio right now. This is from uh, PR22 uh, Playground. I'll put a link below. And you can see where it's got the RSSI bar that shows up when you get reception. So, that was kind of interesting. And we were doing okay. Until all of a sudden, just a couple weeks ago, now we get a new contender. But this time, rather than stick to their own names, they decided to go ahead and use the same name that Baofeng has been using for a long time. So this is the UV-5R+, Plus, not to be confused with the UV-5R, nor to be confused with the newer Baofeng UV-5R+. Plus. So what's this radio offering? Let's take a look. So apparently what Quan Sheng decided to do on this one is change the knob color back to black and then they change the button colors that used to be black to orange and blue so it looks almost identical to the layout on the Baofeng UV-5R. Hmm. Okay. You can still see that it's a little bit larger than the Baofeng UV-5R. Yes, I know. Please don't comment on the fact that this is a BF-R3, which is the same as a UV-5R. It's just got the three bands. So please, don't, don't leave any comments on that. It's exactly the same radio as far as the body casing is concerned. So let's get deeper and see what this radio offers. So obviously one of the first things you will notice about this radio is it has a larger screen than the UV-5R. It is a little bit bigger, but that's basically because the screen, the screen is double the size of that on the 5R. It does also have a slightly larger protective ear around the knob. I don't know if people complained about that or not, but they decided to change that in the styling. It has a little bit better audio than both the UV K5 and K6. Even though I have changed both speakers on those radios, You'll find YouTube videos on that. I'm not going to link to those. There are several videos that show you how to replace the speakers if you want to. I have replaced mine. They do seem to work a little bit better. They're not fantastic, but it does eliminate some of that little tinny sound, so it sounds a little bit heavier. Now, I've also noticed the antenna is slightly different, both in styling, but 
This seems to receive a little bit better than both the other two radios. I don't know if that's my imagination, but I did test it. I did switch them around, and when this antenna is on, it seems to capture a little bit better. Is it tuned differently? I don't know. I haven't measured it. I just got this radio yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to measure it yet to see what's going on, but I guess we can do that a little bit further down, or somebody else can do it, and they can post accordingly. Also, this one has a bigger battery than the other ones. This one's uh, 2200 milliamp hours. It's a larger, thicker battery. I'll go into that here in just a minute. We'll look at that and we'll see why this battery will not fit in the older radios even though the batteries from the older radios will fit into this radio. So we're going to look at that in here just a second as well. Now, we did lose USB charging. The cover is still there, but for some reason, Quan Sheng decided not to provide us with USB charging. Of course, it comes with a cradle and everything else to charge it, but it kind of throws me off. Why? We had USB-C charging on the other two radios. Why not keep it in this one? Did they have to accommodate something to change something? I will admit, airband reception is a little bit better on this one. I have a quick video addition to this one, which you will see where this one actually gets better airband reception than the other two. We'll look at that in a minute as well. So let's move on. Original battery that came with the K5 and K6, 1800 milliamp hour. New battery that comes with the 5 Plus is actually 2200 milliamp hour and you can see that it is actually thicker than the original battery. However, one of the reasons this battery will not fit into the older radios is because if you look at them right here, you will see there is an additional little clip right there which will not fit into the older radios. This radio actually has an accommodation for it. There's a little slot right there so that that part of the battery goes in. However, if you just cut this off either with a Dremel or even just a sharp knife you can just cut this off and then it'll fit any of the older radios as well without a problem so you can have a 2200 milliamp hour battery if you want on your older radios if you choose one of those instead of this one this one always seems to start first second and third so that's the 5R plus the 6 the five. All these radios are set to the same frequencies, all the same memories. The only difference is the firmware. These two have modded firmware. This one has the factory firmware because this is version 4 and I don't have the raw file for that yet so I don't want to modify it as yet just to find out what happens. So for now, it seems we have three Quan Shengs to deal with. A UVK5, a UVK6, or 5 apostrophe 8, and of course the newer one, the UV5R+. This radio always gets airband before this one, and again before this one. Sometimes this one doesn't even get the signal at all. And all three radios have the same squelch setting. All three radios have exactly the same channels. Only the firmware is different on these. I have modded firmware on these two. This one has the original firmware, and I dare not change it at this point because this reads as version 4. I don't know what the differences are, or if there's been something modified in it, but I don't have an original copy of that firmware, so I'm not going to modify this one until I get a copy of 4, so that in case something happens, I can at least revert back to it. Well, that's going to be it for this video, folks. Um, I'm getting close to a thousand subs, so as soon as I get a thousand subs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a free radio. I don't know which one. I'll pick one at random, and I'll pick 
uh, a subscriber at random as well to get a radio. It may be one of these, it may be one of the Baofangs, it may be something else that I review online. I will put some additional links below to some of my previous reviews, to some of these other radios, a comparison that I did between these two guys, and I certainly would appreciate a subscribe and a thumbs up and a like on the video. That encourages me to keep making some more. Uh, thanks for watching.